guess everybody knows firefighters and cops don't get along. Especially last shift. Isn't Malch's wife a cop? That's different. They are OG, so they get a pass. And no one messes with Judy. Please don't say anything. I am not ready to come out as a cop lover yet. I don't know, pal. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Now, let's talk about this, one, man. Chicago Fire, man. Welcome back, y'all. No, it's been a. It has been a while. <laughs> it feels well. At least it feels like it's been a while um, since the last episode. I don't know. It just for me, it felt longer in between episodes this time, even though it was only like two weeks. It just felt longer. Uh, I, I was like, oh man, Whoa, like what's going on? So, anyways, we're gonna start off with Ritter because. I thought he had a very, very, very interesting situation that was going on. Um, and so, there was this new guy who was at the firehouse. And um, that's where this situation kind of got started. So, Ritter was hinting around that, you know, he has this new boy toy that he's been seeing. He was talking about it with Violet in the beginning of the episode. And... You know, it seems like he's had a, you know, he didn't want um, Violet to meet him. And this episode was called Red Flag. So uh, it was a, that was kind of a red flag from Ritter. Why, you know, why you don't want Violet to meet him? He said it was because it was too early. He really didn't want anybody to meet him yet because he doesn't know where they're going, which is understandable. That's actually not the weird part to me, but still kind of a red flag, especially when we find out, like, why he's so determined to keep this guy a secret, right? So. Ritter's, you know, I don't call boyfriend yet because I don't think they're at that stage yet. But boy toy, <laughs> he comes over to the firehouse, uh, doing you know, uh, doing one of his night shifts, and you know, uh, I think to bring him back his wallet because I think he said he left it like his wallet over there or something like that. And uh, his new boyfriend like looked through it, and we find out like why he would look through it too. So now the new guy. At the fire, I don't know his name yet, so I'm calling new guy. I, I, I didn't really catch his name in the episode, so I didn't get a chance to like note that down. Um, but the new guy that was at the firehouse, he actually saw them together. Now, Ritter didn't do like any kissing or nothing, but he, I think the guy knew something was there. So then they talked together at Molly's about the whole situation. You know, the guy's like, you know, you ain't got a problem with it, he's gay or whatever, and all this other stuff. But then, so the conversation kind of starts with Ritter, it was kind of like. Talking to him about, you know, because the guy thought that 51 has his reputation where everyone's close and everything about that. And so, at first it seemed like, because I was like, don't they know Ritter's gay? Like, I'm pretty sure they know, everybody in the car house knows Ritter's gay. Like, so I was kind of, like, confused by, like, now they done made this a secret? Like, what the hell are they doing on fire right now? But now we find out what it really was about, and it, and it made a lot more sense now that... Ritter is hiding him because he's a cop and he explained, you know, cops and firefighters don't get along and it's very true. And that was even true in this episode because uh, Severide, uh, Severide's case was actually dealing with a couple of policemen that they didn't get, he didn't get along too well with in the episode. So, yeah, very true with that. And Ritter is not ready to expose the fact that he is going out with a cop because he doesn't think... People will think highly of the cop days dating and all that other stuff. He just doesn't want to build up that drama before he even really gets started with this guy. So now it kind of makes sense why this guy was looking through his wallet because, you know, cops are always investigating shit. So, <laughs> but uh, interesting thing there. I, I, I'm, I'm really glad that they wasn't keeping the gay thing see because I'm like, bro, that, didn't everybody know that he's gay? Like, we went through this already. Like, I was like, okay, now, now I get it. But I thought it was a nice little storyline story for him and the new guy, you know, to kind of go through and you know because the one thing you find out about 51 is that everybody knows 51 is like super close man like everyone knows so interesting stuff man but go ahead and give me your thoughts on this man give this video a like share and subscribe let's talk about violet because uh, probably most of chicago fire this week is going to be about violet like because there really wasn't too much going on outside of violet in this episode to recap so, we're going to keep everything on the Violet stuff, because that, that was the stuff that I was really probably going to get more into after that wedding episode with Sylvie and uh, Sylvie's wedding with Casey. So, 
Let's get into it, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. After news, still like.